What's going on, YouTube? It's Monday. Uh, just like every other Monday, I try to make some kind of motivational video. Uh, and today, I'm going to do the same thing. Wonder who that could be. Oh, hey! Opportunity! Y'all are probably laughing at me like, oh my gosh, bro. Like, seriously. But, no, it's really like that. Opportunity just comes up sometimes and knocks on your door. But see, the problem is what we do after opportunity knocks. If you answer, sometimes we'll, we'll kind of like peek through the little, little peephole or move the curtain back. We're kind of like, hey, opportunity, is that you? I don't know, you, I don't know. Other times, we just don't even open the door, just walk away from it because we're like, nah, opportunity comes with risk. I'm not really worried. Wanting to take a risk right now, I'm, I'm burnt out, I'm jaded. You know, I don't, I just, just had so many bad, things happen. I just, I'm not really willing to, you know, take another opportunity, you know. If life could have it, it would, uh, it would show wasted, like across like San Andreas or something. But, um, let me tell you about opportunities. Opportunity does not come at us like we always think it will. And, um, for good reason too. It's literally one of those things that if it were easy, everybody would do it. So like, what do I mean by that? So what I'm saying is, if it were easy, if it was easy for everyone to just open the door to opportunity and accept what comes with it and you know, go about you know, facing the risk and all that stuff. I like this. But uh, yeah. Anyway, if it were easy to do that, then I'm sure everybody will be successful I'd be doing great things with your lives. Yeah, it, it would just be something that was the norm, but it's not the norm, and that's why opportunity doesn't always um, show itself. You know, that's why when I say when opportunity knocks, open the door, take the risk. You know, um, in my last song, uh, I do what I want to, or I do what I want. Link in the, in the uh, description. You hear me talk about. Like I'm an entrepreneur mindset, uh, or entrepreneur, like I ain't, I ain't afraid to take risk, you know. Uh, it's it may be hard, but in the end, you that's what that's what I think about. I think I'm gonna put this seed in the ground now. I'm gonna water it. The sun will come out, and then. After a while, I'm gonna have a plan. Now, the the beautiful thing about it is that whole process takes patience. Now, as a human, it's very hard for us to be patient with anything. We'll start from we'll go Bible days. Jesus died, and they're like, Jesus is coming back, and they thought it was gonna be like the next thing, and not realizing it would be years and years later. For you guys that are in school, you know, you want to, as soon as you got your freshman year, I know after my first week of high school, I was already done with school. Like, that was it. Like, I was done. I already wanted to graduate. <laughs> and uh, even when I got to college, my first, like, my first month, I was all like, oh, I shouldn't move here, having withdrawals from my family. But then, after, I was just like, I'm done, man. <laughs> I can't. I already want to be in the work world. Like, I don't even, I just want my nine to five already. Like, I didn't even want to be in school. And see, you could say that I missed an opportunity there because the opportunity knocked on the door and I was able to get to college in the first place, but I just didn't persevere as, um, as I should have, as um, a, lot, a lot of people do. But then also a lot of people don't and they got to go another route or a couple different routes, and uh, that's what happened to me. So here I am, what am I talking about on this Monday, this Motivational Monday? Well, today, uh, Mr. Chan has something to say to you. Last night, um, actually, I'm gonna start with last week. Last week, it was presented to me, or I should say two weeks ago, it was presented to me. Um, I, I went to the club, I was, I was just hanging out, talking to one of my coworkers, and 
she was talking to me about like we were talking about relationship stuff like we always do and there end up being these two guys right here to my right they're from massachusetts guys what's up uh, i don't know if you guys decided to follow my youtube channel but if you did thanks <laughs> anyways uh meet these two guys they tell me that they work for the government the federal government and i'm looking at them like that like i said in the other video never judge a book by its cover so I asked them some questions. I'm like, well, what do y'all do? They start explaining to me what it is they do, and I'm not gonna say it on here because that's their business. And you know, keep your moves quiet, you know what I'm saying? Because what they told me helped me. So anyway, they tell me what they do. The one tells me how much he made at first, which was two years ago, and then he told me what he's making now. And of course, this sounds like one of those uh, pyramid scheme deals, but it's not because they're working for the federal government. So I'm listening to them and I'm sitting here and my mind's just blown. Just something so simple, something so small that could be so, su such a, a big, a huge opportunity, you know, for me. So I decided, all right, I'm talking to them and, and Jess, if you're watching this video, you remember my face, my, my jaw was just on the floor, like, are you kidding me? And then the other guy says, well, I did that at first, but now I'm doing this other thing for the same, you know, and uh, now I'm making, I'm making like double of that. And double, let me just say, I'm not a money person, but, but, as simple of a job, that this is, or that they were talking about. For them to make it, it, it just didn't make sense to me. But then it's like, no, it's like, all right. So what do I have to do? And I'm sitting here, I'm listening to these guys, just random guys, all right, mind you, random. I'm talking about like, there's no way in the world that me and these two would have ever, ever crossed paths, okay? So, they're talking to me and they're just just hyping me up like man take whatever you're doing re just remove all the hard parts like work smart not hard and i'm sitting here like i tell people that like you're taking my motivational monday from me on a friday like what's wrong with you <laughs> stupid <laughs> and i'm sitting here like okay what do i have to do they told me what i needed to do and I'm like, you know what? I got it. You know, you know, you, you ever hear like one of those motivational speeches? Probably like this video. And then right after, you're like, man, I'm a go. I'm, I'm doing it right now. Go to the source. <laughs> anyway, so I, I was like, I, I made a promise. I shook both their hands. I was like, hey, tonight when I go home, uh, I'm gonna get online. I'm gonna search it up, USA Jobs, blah 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 blah, and go from there. Which, by the way www.usajobs.com for federal jobs look on there you'll be surprised at what you'd actually qualify for even if you're like me if you did not graduate college so here i am i go home and i'm, I'm reading the requirements and all of a sudden my heart's like <sighs> like i've never really been afraid to take opportunity but all of a sudden it was like i start doubting myself like, man, I got a lot of things I'm doing, you know, I'm moving and just so many other things and, and tournaments coming up and here I'm going to have to, you know, do an ad campaign to raise like five grand for me and my teammate. And there's just so much that's going on. Like I, I man, the opportunity just came at the wrong time. I, I just, you know, like over there, like I was saying, you know, we shut the door and I got to thinking, I'll wait. I'll wait because because even when I went online, the job I was looking for wasn't there. Um, they had something like it. And they told me these the specific jobs that I didn't want to take, but they were there. And I might get tempted to take because the dollar signs that they go behind to those specific jobs. And um, they're like, don't do it because, you, you know, just, just wait for this. It'll, it'll happen. And sure enough, uh, USPS, uh, not USPS, uh, USA Jobs um, 
updated and um what's it called i was looking on there and it was like what are your qualifications i mean you know i got my security stuff and um just just t start typing in all my information and i, I was just getting nervous you know? <laughs> honestly i was just getting nervous and um I, I'm like, well, what do I do now? So I waited two weeks. Yep. They they sent me an email. was like, uh, you need to take this particular test by the 16th at 11, you know, 59 p.m. And uh, so two weeks went by. Oh, there's like this person walking by. That's why I keep looking at because they keep stopping. I'd show you them, but like I'm not trying to be too, too creeper, although they are walking across my window. Little kid and little uh, little car cart thing, and then she's pushing him. He's got his glasses on. Looks like a baby, baby Mr. Chan, because he's Asian. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I let two weeks go by, and I'm like, all right, I gotta do this this weekend. Just it, another thing too, I will say with opportunities. Sometimes, if the opportunity is still there, something will come and just kick us in the pants. For me, it's usually a song or a movie or like, you know, pastor at church or um, like I was watching Joel Osteen this weekend, uh, talking to a friend, uh, 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 you know, death in the fan, whatever it may be. Something comes along and kicks us in the pants and says, hey, wake up. The opportunity is there. You're going to lose it. And uh, so I got I got on computer Sunday, scheduled my test, and you guys know my car's down, so I had to do the lift, and lifting the OKC in the back was like 60 bucks, which that makes me so mad when I got to waste money like that, but hey. And um, I go take this test. I get to the testing center, right? The, it's locked and I'm like dang I got here early and everything what the what what's going on man lady opens the door and is like can I help you and I'm like no, you, you, you stop that <laughs> no anyway um, I'm like yeah I'm here to take this test blah 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 and she's like well you can't have a bag you can't have your phone on you you can't have I'm like listen Linda I done pay so much money for the trip here and to on the way back, I need to take this test. And she's like, well, I'm not responsible if your stuff gets stolen. We're inside of a fed, like, what? If it gets, y'all got cameras, like. <sighs> There's always that little stuff that messes with us, that gets us all like, ah, oh, man. Uh. So here I was, about to take this test, said a little prayer, like, God, help me out. And, uh. Got on the computer, and it was like immediately the screen came on. Boom! Here we go. And then, hey, so I'm doing the test. It's four four section or four part test. Each of them, long one section was like 30 minutes, and then the other three were like 15 minutes each or something like that. 30, 50, 45, or it might have been two 15s and two 30s, two. I don't know. Anyway, it ended up being an hour long. My math is terrible. You can see why I was so nervous to take the test. Anyway, I'm doing the test and I'm I'm cooking. First section, mm, done. I know I got 100 on that. Second section, problem solving. Ooh, I got that. Mm, done. Third section, oh, what? Only 15 questions in four minutes? Bet. Uh, 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 uh. Oh man, I'm not really sure about this quote. Oh, what do I? Mm, uh, uh, dang. I, I think the answer might be I answer that question. No sooner I do, it says your time limit is up. And I missed, uh, I still had two more questions to do. So out of the 15 questions, I got 13 done. And out of those 13, I'm pretty sure I got one wrong. So out of uh, 15, if you got, if you get 13 wrong, don't quote me. I want to say that's an 80% or 86%. It might be 80%, 83%. So 
something like that. So 13 out of 15, if I got them, so that means I got two wrong. 12 out of 15 is what I mean, is an 80% or 70. I don't really know. Anyway, so I was sitting there and I was like, dang it. And then I was like, all right, I got one more section. I got to do this thing. All of a sudden, for those who know, I'm, my, my dyslexia is not so, so bad uh, in the daytime because I'm like, I'm wait, it's usually bad at nighttime where I can't really like see like black and white just starts like, you know, and on the screen, they have a grid. I'm like, of all things, literally letters and numbers on a grid, you know, and I'm looking at it like, <sighs> what? <laughs> So I'm like trying to focus on the screen and I, I have five gum, you can see that. I chew, chew, chewed, ch tune, chone. I don't even know what the past tense. Anyway, I just stuck a whole bunch of gum in my mouth and I was just chewing, trying to stay freaking focused. I even had my fidget spinner and I was. <laughs> anyway, um, so this section comes up and I am just struggling. I'm like looking at the little squares. I'm like, all right, you know, you know, those little, those little crossboard puzzle thingies that you do on the, online. It's like stare here and you look over here and you'll see the black spots and the white. Like that's basically what was going on. Totally sucked. Anyway, so I, I'm doing this test and finally I get down, I look up in the corner and I'm like, man, I need to mark this question and come back to it, which I do. And then uh, I'm looking, I'm like, all right, I got a minute left for these 15 questions. I'm like, oh, come on. Finally finished. Then I got to do the survey. You know how tests are, blah, blah, blah. I'm leaving. I walk outside. I'm like, oh. boy, was I glad that was over. Like, man, never again. Never again. Although, yeah, never again. Because if you get the job, then you can move up within the company or whatever, and then they'll move you around. As a, which all you gotta do is get your foot in, and booyaka! Hopefully, uh, my foot is in there, like swimwear. So, um, this is more of those videos where it's like, I hope, I hope, and I'm pr keep praying that I get it because this is that season of my life. You know, what I'm saying about to be 28, and uh, life is. It's not saying that I'm getting old because I'm still young, but it's definitely one of those, like, I had a sobering moment, you know, in the, over the last couple of years with as much loss as I have taken. And, the, you know, it's just made me kind of go, it's time to get it now. I've been working hard for later, but I need to go ahead and everything I've been working for, get it now. Why wait till later? And I don't mean, you know, some overnight millionaire st story, which that can happen for you. I'm saying, if there's something that you want to do, do it. If it takes you having to build up to get there, start building right now. For me, I wanted a job that I could do here in Oklahoma, then after a while, go to St. Louis with my dad, help him out, and then we all go down to Texas. Or, you know, if my dad didn't want to go to Texas, then, hey, I'm going to Texas because horns up. The best state in the United States of America. It is the United States of America. United States of Texas. No, just, just straight Texas. Anyway, one of the job that I could do that I could take with me everywhere that I would be able to work no matter where, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Save up, be able to, you know, get ready to like, you know, get married or do some, something like that with my life, at least get a house and, and be heading down that road. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, opportunity comes and knocks on the door. It doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, I want you to be ready, no matter what. Like, don't sleep. You know, my first song on my CD is called Stay Woke. And I will tell you right now, I'm having a tough time. I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. It's been it's been very tough over the last like few days just because a lot of stuff has been going on. 
and uh, I start moving Wednesday. So my move-in day to my new apartment is Wednesday. So basically, I got to go get the truck tomorrow. Uh, you're going to see me packing, uh, just all that stuff, unpacking. Like, it's just a lot is going on. And that's what happens when opportunity comes as well, like distractions. You got to be careful with that. Um, this is a longer video. I'm sorry. But there's a lot of good things you can take away from it. When distractions come, you just got to remember what it is you want to do. Like, I have a buddy that's been like, hey, man, let's go spar. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. And um, my friends are like, let's work out. And let's do, like, it's like over the next couple of days, can't do it. I got to stay focused. Although those are things 